While the narrator speaks, old photos and newspaper clippings tell the story of Anne Connolly. Hello, and happy White Cane Awareness Day. We start today at the Edmonds School in Burlington, Vermont, where the Vermont Association for the Blind was founded in 1912. Anne Connolly, a blind teacher of the blind, was hired in that same year. She opened her first classroom in St. Albans, and the following year, a second classroom in Burlington, in this brick building shown here on the lower left. In these classes, students learn skills such as caning, weaving, typing, reading, and braille. Anne can be seen in this picture in the back row turned to her student. In 1926, following a presentation in Burlington by Helen Keller, the Vermont Association for the Blind reorganized to expand its services statewide. Anne Connolly led that effort as the agency's sole field representative. In cities across Vermont, Anne found students, volunteers, and funding to establish classes. She was charismatic, an effective public speaker, a successful teacher, and media savvy in her efforts to raise awareness about blindness and vision impairment. Anne Connolly made an impression everywhere she went. She showed the public how independent a visually impaired person could be with support and training. Anne brought the first trained guide dog to Burlington in 1929. Her German shepherd named Betty was one of only 19 trained guide dogs in the U.S. at the time. Betty was the cutting edge of helping Anne achieve even more independence, and Burlington residents were amazed as Betty guided Anne around town. Anne Connolly was the first in Vermont to use a white cane. The new tool was given to her in 1931 by the Lions Club of Newark, New Jersey. The white cane provided Anne with another means to independent living, and white cane awareness in Vermont began with Anne Connolly, as newspapers educated the public on Anne's cane and the rules of white cane use. The use of white cane spread across the state over the next decade, as the white cane and guide dogs allowed people who were blind and visually impaired to be independent, secure employment, and reach their personal goals in life. Old newspaper clippings and current images of Vermonters of all ages using white canes. Anne Connolly passed away in 1939, but her impact on Vermont continues to this day. In 1949, Vermont passed the White Cane Act that established a right-of-way at crosswalks to those using a white cane or a guide dog while prohibiting anyone but blind and visually impaired people from using white canes. As we reflect on the trailblazing efforts of Anne Connolly, it is our hope that we recognize today that the white cane is more than a traveling stop sign. The white cane symbolizes the ability that all people who are visually impaired can achieve their dreams and maximize their independence. They just need the tools and training to do so. To this day, 100 years later, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired continues the mission of Anne Connolly. <laughs>